All right, I'm just gonna give a quick demonstration on on uh, doing a compression test real quick. Uh, I have here my Snap-on uh, compression tester, and all you really do is find the the end. It's like your spark plug. Screw it into the cylinder. Uh, there's a little rubber gasket that's something like this on the end of that. But you just screw it in until it just snugs up. All the spark plugs are removed. And I got the throttle pinned about, well, this is probably only pinned about halfway open. They like it fully open, but ha half will do for, for, uh, for what we're doing here. Um, it'll work just fine. Um, I unplugged my, my coil wire. So there's no spark uh, firing at the end of the plugs, plug wires, I mean. So all the plugs are removed, the throttle, throttle is pinned open, coil wire disconnected. And there's a couple things here that this will show. It'll show if, if the rings are, are sealing, the compression rings are sealing, and it'll also show if the valves are sealing. Now these are the heads that I, that I ported uh, on one of my other videos. And uh, so I just wanted to see how everything's sealing up and how everything is. I, I drove it a, a few hundred miles last year and stuff like that so I just want to see where everything is now and show me the shape of the rings remember this is a short block that had hundred and twenty thousand miles on it actually the whole engine had about hundred twenty thousand miles never been apart of course I obviously pulled the heads off of it and I did uh, put a, a cheap summit cam in here which is basically made by crane but while you do once you got the throttle pinned open well your coil wire unplugged all your plugs are out also one other key thing is you want to do this with a warm motor so I started this motor up and warmed it up and now and now I'll turn it over I'll turn it over you know five maybe six four revolutions and and uh, we'll see what we get you also like it's nice if you can have somebody hold this so you can see it because the first couple of of a uh, pumps by the cylinder will will tell you a lot you want it to shoot up yeah i want to be over 100 in, in in two revolutions so i don't know if i'll be able to see it but we'll turn this over here and, and see what happens all right so i ended up at a 140. that tells me the valves that i did sealed really well and that tells me that uh, the compression ring is holding up. And I'll be honest with you, you really don't want any more than, I don't like any more than 10 or 12 uh, pounds of pressure between the cylinders. Um, in other words, if the low is, if, if 140, I don't really like them going any more than a, a 140, maybe a 146 to a 134 range. I want them to stay within that five to six of, of, what, of what's the nominal. So, I already did these. These are running about 140 per cylinder. Uh, my low so far out of uh, five or six cylinders is my low is 138. My high has been 142. So uh, it looks like the, the ring's at 120,000. And this is a 1976 motor. So you're talking, uh, man, you're talking 41 years, 41 year old motor with over 120,000 on it. And it looks like the ring's and holding up real good typical of the of the small block Mopar. All right, thanks.